Today, I'm opening up a stack of Funko Pop autographs. And they're actually, some of these are going to be mystery boxes. Some of these, I don't even know exactly what's in them. So that's going to be kind of fun. Only one I know for sure what's in it is this one and this one. The rest of these are all from private signings. I have out, I think, over a dozen pops right now for private signs between companies of Zobie Productions, Dark Parlor Originals, Twin City Comics, uh, who else? SWAU, Celebrity Authentics. There might be another one or two companies, but... So these three here, I'm not too sure which ones are in here. Because some of the pre-orders, like whenever you pre-order for like a private signing through a company from for a celebrity, sometimes you have to pay like six months in advance. Sometimes a year in advance. Sometimes it takes a while for the autograph signing to get scheduled because maybe the person lives in the UK, but the company's based in the US. So trying to negotiate time that the celebrity has availability to sit down and do a private autograph signing for a day or two, you know, that's that can be challenging sometimes. So we're gonna open up all these, and I actually have a, the, a picture from a What Not Live auction that I purchased from OC Celebrity Marketing. I don't remember which one it was either. Is, is that kind of bad? It's kind of bad, isn't it? So this is actually purchased from What Not. So tonight, February, what is this, the 24th, 6 p.m., I'm in a What Not Live auction. I'm gonna be selling comic books, Funko Pops, I'm doing giveaways. What Not Live auction, February 24th, 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of the OG Supernatural Pops available. The common versions, the bloodies, the metallics, the special editions, and the Buy It Now section. I've even got some grails available for Buy It Now right now. So all these will be up for auction. Also in the auction, I've got OG Big Bang Theory Funko Pops with some of those rare SDCC grails up for auction. And as always, there's gonna be some very big Fungal Pops available in the Buy It Now section, all the way from like 100 bucks up to almost $1,300. So I'm looking to purchase some very big boy, kind of expensive Fungal Pop Grails. They're available in the Buy It Now section right now. So there'll be a QR code on the screen right now, also in the description box to this video, there will also be a link you can use, download a completely free WhatNot app. Use my QR code, I'm linked down below, save 15 bucks on your first purchase also. It doesn't matter if you buy it from me or anybody else, your first purchase, $15 off. Let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> Total of like, what, six packages? This could be fun. Like I said, this was bought from OC Celebrity Marketing. They do auction, I think like what, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. They sell nothing but autographs. And I've actually gotten some steals and deals from their live auctions. I've gotten quite a few steals and deals to add to my personal collection. Some autographs that uh, I've been trying to get for a while now. Here we go. First one, OC Celebrity Marketing. I'm trying to think, what was this? I don't remember. That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, no? Was it somebody from Cobra Kai? It might have been somebody from Cobra Kai. Maybe. Which one is it? It's actually a cast signed photo of The Breakfast Club. How cool is that? And I got this for $220. The back of it has like my information and stuff, so I don't want to show that. But I bought this on January 27th. Wow. This has been uh, on this stack of boxes for, for a few weeks now. 220 bucks signed by Judd Nelson, Ali Sheedy, Emilio Estevez, Molly Ringwald, and Anthony Michael Hall. Beckett Authenticated. That's actually my second one. I also won this one in a whatnot auction with OC Celebrity Marketing. I got this thing, I think for around the same price. And they had this one up and I was like, I kind of like both those photos. <laughs> Let me get two cast sign photos from the Breakfast Club. But yeah, there's the first pickup. I forgot about yeah I'm I know I purchased in another uh live auction or whatnot I purchased a Cobra Kai picture of um Peyton List and also one of Hawk the, the guy who played Hawk here we go here's the first kind of mystery box this was from SWAU I don't know which one this is it could be I am I have, have autographs out right now for um Hugh Jackman um the, uh, what's his name? Paul Bettany, the guy who played The Vision. I got autographs out right now for Harrison Ford. I have autographs out for um, 
the woman who played She-Hulk autographs out for some Game of Thrones characters. I don't know what's in this box. Oh, nice. Wow, I bought that one a while ago. The Agatha Harkness. Oh, what's her name? I'm not sure what her name is. How bad is that? That's kind of bad, right? That's all it looks like. It came out fantastic. I usually, whenever I do I stuff for a private signing, I almost always ask for them to sign it in white paint pen because white paint pen doesn't matter what pop is in it. It always comes out looking very, very nice. That white paint pen always just pops. It came out looking fantastic. And she inscribed her character name, Agatha Harkness. I guess is what it says. Yeah. Agatha. Yeah. Sweet. Came looking beautiful. SWAU private signing. Very, very nice. She was also in the movie Step Brothers. So that's the first one. I, I forgot. I forgot I had put in for her um, private signing. That was honestly probably last summer. That was a while ago. Here, let's do this one next. This one's Twin City Comics. I don't... Only ones I know are these two. Actually, let, let, let's do one of the ones where I know what's actually in it. So I'm not surprised. This is a wrestler. A Hall of Fame wrestler. So if you're a wrestling fan, this is actually purchased a private sign through Dark Parlor Originals. Yeah, they always do fantastic packaging with Dark Parlor. They do lots of wrestlers. So if you're a wrestling fan, check out Dark Parlor Originals. And you ready for this? Nice. Rob Van Dam with a... Actually, he looks like he has a YouTube channel. I to check that out. Rob Van Dam. And on the side, he even inscribed it the whole effing show. I actually had to pay more for the inscription on the side. But Rob Van Dam... It looks nice with the uh see the white paint pen doesn't matter what is in it white paint pen always just looks nice i mean this one you could have done like, like a light blue to match the briefcase or red to match his his um his wrestling trunks but i just am a huge fan of using white paint pens because it, it it always pops very nicely that's awesome the whole effing show here we go let's do the twin city comics one See, with Twin City, I have out with them. I can't remember what I even have out with Twin City Comics right now. I know I've got some Marvel out with Twin Cities. I think that might be Paul Bettany. I think that's his name, right? And um, Hugh Jackman, I think, right? I have Hugh Jackman out. Is, is he the one? I think it's Twins. Or you might be through OC Celebrity. I don't remember. Here we go. You ready? Which one's in here? This might be Paul Bettany. Maybe. I'm not I'm not sure. Oh, double box. Nice. Box in a box. Fantastic packaging. Twin City Comics. I don't think any of these I send in pops myself. A lot of times when people come to do private signings, you can they have pops available and you can buy from them. Um I don't think any of these were send-ins. Like I sent something in, I just paid for a pop and then they had the pop sign. And oh, it is Paul Bettany, Noise, The Vision. I thought that's who that might be, and it is. Of course, Beckett off actually Beckett witnessed authenticate. This is the one where they actually had to go over to Europe somewhere to have him do the private signing because he does not live in the U.S. See, I always request white paint pen. Of course, on this one, the white. Actually, this one you could have done a light blue because of like light blue. It's on his forehead, but. White paint and always pops. That's awesome. Paul Bettany. I think that's his last name, right? Paul Bettany. I think, I think it sounds right. Yeah, another one for... I actually have a pretty extensive Marvel autograph Funko Pop collection. Pretty extensive now. I'm only missing just a select few that I need. Happy to add that to the collection. Because I do collect signed Funko Pops. I don't collect Funko Pops. Just Funko Pops I don't collect. I collect autograph Funko Pops. This is also from SWAU. I think this might be the she. I think her name is what? Tatiana. Does that sound right? Ta Tatiana. I think this one might be the She-Hulk autograph pop. I think. I, can, I don't know for sure though. But SWAU. I have several pops out with them right now to get signed. You ready? It is. It is the She-Hulk one. I chose the diamond dress. That one's actually a pretty cool pop I think. I'll show you first before I see it. Is it white paint pen? Yep. Nice. That looks awesome. 
Yeah, that, that, that dress actually on this pot is pretty cool. It's it's like, or I, I call it diamond. They call it glitter, but it's kind of like a diamond one. Don't want to scratch the autograph. Be careful taking these pops out whenever they use paint pins. Be very careful removing your pops from any kind of protectors because one small scratch will actually scratch the the autograph. That looks awesome. That came out, that came out beautifully. That white paint pin on that really pops against like her pretty much her green skin and her green hair that pops that dress is actually super cool the like the glitter dress yeah pretty sure her name is tatiana i think I'm pretty sure that came out looking nice that's awesome another one for the autograph for the marvel autograph pop collection she hulk i was probably one of the only few that actually enjoyed the she hulk tv show i've actually watched a couple times now i really enjoyed it I mean, go go into it with an open mind, and honestly, the Shield TV show, yeah, the CGI on it was kind of uh, <laughs> the CGI could have been better, but I enjoyed the She Hulk TV show. I thought it was very good. I really enjoyed it. This one, though, I know what's in this one. This one is a big one. This is a grail to a lot of people. The actor who signed this I actually bought this off eBay. The actor who signed this does not do private signings. Pretty much the only way to get his autograph is if you see him on the street or at the mall or at a restaurant or a movie premiere. Only way to get his autograph. And I got this for about half of what it usually sells for. I'm not too sure how that happened, but I got a steal on this pop that made me one step closer to completing a collection I'm trying to get. You ready to see which one, which one this is? Got this off eBay for, I think it was around like a little, little over $400. And this pop of this gentleman usually sells, if it's authenticated, sells between eight to nine hundred dollars. I got it for half price. I I got it at an auction. I think it just so happened that nobody was watching it or ended at a bad time. I don't remember, but I got it for an absolute stupid, stupid steal. You ready? I, I got a peek first. That's it. Yes, that's it. Everybody knows I'm collecting the Office Funko Pops. I'm trying to get every cast member who has a pop, just one of their pops autographed. Only ones I need still for the entire Office collection. Right now I have, I think, 13 different autographed pops of, of different cast members. Only ones I need are, I actually just bought Kelly. Just bought this one. I still need the um, Ryan Howard, um, Andy Bernard, Aaron, um, was it Aaron Hannon? And there's a fourth one, I think. But anyway, this one was the biggest one to get off the list. This is the one. You ready though? I'm just gonna quit gabbing. You ready? Michael Scott. Stephen Carell. Steve Carell! This is like the grail. For anybody that collects The Office, a Steve Carell signed Funko Pop. So pretty much all these pops that are signed, they just happened to meet him at, like I said, like at a mall or a movie premiere or just ran into him on the street. So most of his autographs are what you'd call street signatures where he pretty much just rushes them, just, you know, doesn't really take a whole lot of time with them. But this one, I thought it actually came out pretty well. And of course it is also Beckett authenticated. Beckett authenticated it. And I got this thing for, I said, a little over 400 bucks. Steve Carell, check eBay, sold prices. Steve Carell signed and authenticated. Authenticated pops usually sell between eight to $900. I got this for a little over 400. An absolute steal. So happy to add Steve Carell. Like the two hard ones to get were Steve Carell and John Krasinski who played um, Jim Halpert. I got Jim a few months ago and I got Steve Michael Scott. So the two hard ones, I, I knocked him out. Now it's, oh, the other, the fourth one that I need to get is Toby. Um, Toby. So I just need Toby, Ryan, Aaron, and Andy. Andy is a tough one though, too. The, uh, what's his name? Who plays Andy? Can't think of it. O'Neal, or I can't think of it. He doesn't sign anything. Nothing. But he's usually go for about four to $600 in, in that range. So he's going to be like next like hard one to get. BJ Novaks, who played Ryan Howard, he doesn't sign anything. But whenever his stuff does get 
listed usually sells for about a couple hundred bucks or so. Toby usually sells for about one to 150. And Aaron, I've never seen an Aaron Funkle Pop sign. I've never seen one. She might end up being an extremely tough one to get. I'm not sure what the, her name is who plays the role of Aaron on The Office. I've never seen her having a sign pop before. But Steve Carell, I think, was the biggest, hardest one to get. The most expensive one, I got it for half off. Not a bad deal, right? So yeah, that was this unboxing. A little bit different, but it was all autograph pop unboxing. Like I said, tonight, 6 p.m. will be my next What Not Live auction. These, I saw this video, are not for sale tonight. <laughs> These are in the personal collection now. But tonight, I'll have Funko Pops, comic books, auction style. We're doing giveaways. Come out, 6 p.m. Eastern time. QR code on the screen right now. Download the one app is completely free. I'll see you tonight, and thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by the What Not app. Download the free What Not app today and participate in live auctions from your smart device. Funko Pops, Silver Age and Golden Age comics. There's Pokemon cards and participate in live auctions on the WhatNot app.